So we just got the release of Kung Fu on the CW, and it was more than a bit infuriating. To truly master Kung Fu, you must find peace. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon, and this is Film Flair, where we discuss anything and everything that makes film and television great. So be sure to subscribe, and let's talk about a show that needs some work. Peace and my family don't really go together. Kung Fu is based off the original 1972 TV series with Olivia Liang starring as Nikki Chin, a young Chinese American who drops out of college and goes on a life-changing journey to an isolated monastery in China. And when she finally returns home a few years later, she finds it overrun with crime and corruption. So she uses her newfound martial arts skills to protect her community and bring these criminals to justice. All while searching for the assassin who killed her mentor and is now coming after her. This show was written and produced by Christina Kim, whose previous credit list includes some long-lived shows like Lost, NCIS, Hawaii Five-0, and Blindspot. The show's also got the power of mega producer Greg Berlanti behind it as an executive producer. Now first off, my immediate thoughts while watching this pilot was about just how much the show resembles the pilot episode of Arrow, where a prodigal child returns home to a family they don't fully recognize with new and unexplainable skills. And that's not all too surprising considering the show is produced by Greg Berlanti, the prolific showrunner behind the entire Arrowverse on the CW. Everything about the show feels familiar. Almost too familiar and not in a good way. Almost everything about this pilot episode feels like it belongs in a lineup of shows from the early to mid 2000s. From the style to the dialogue to the less than realistic fight choreography, it was all outdated and just cringy to watch. Honestly, I think the show's got a good foundation, but the execution is just way too distracting and leaves a whole lot to be desired. The characters themselves weren't at all bad, and after the initial adjustment period, I actually started to like them just a bit, although the pilot did brush over some major tension all too quickly. The brother's reaction to seeing his sister for the first time in three years was a bit harsh. I missed you. Pretty sure when you go someone, it means the opposite. But her mother's first words were straight brutal. My daughter died three years ago. Those are the type of feelings that take a while to deal with and are never just resolved in a matter of days. I would have really liked to have seen those relationships slowly mended over a period of time like the course of the season, at least half of it at the minimum. That honestly went better than I thought it would. And the pilot itself has the potential for some interesting storytellings in the form of a number of different immediate problems that need to be faced in the neighborhood, as well as the overarching storyline regarding the sword and the relationships we get throughout, from the family to the romantic ones. In total, I do think that there is a bit of hope for the show moving forward. There's a great team of writers and producers with a ton of television experience, Berlanti and his team have worked on plenty of shows with some rough starts, and this one has a solid enough foundation that just needs some refinement. But if it doesn't improve quickly, I doubt that it'll last past its initial season order, if it even makes it that far. But what do you think about Kung Fu? Let me know in the comments below. New episodes air Wednesdays on The CW. But before you go and watch that, please do be sure to give this a like and subscribe for more reviews like this. We've got new content coming out every Tuesdays and Fridays. But until next time, have a great day and don't forget to watch a great movie. Bye. You took down an army by yourself. This is what I meant to do. 